it kind of angles everything forward just a little bit so you're no it's no longer straight up and down or leaning back it's kind of at a more forward angle good morning YouTube this is cruise man just finished up my Sunday breakfast with Don here at uh, awake once again and I am on my way to the grocery store do a little Sunday shopping and I wanted to take some time to give you a review kind of a preliminary review I guess you could say of this Goldwing case trunk extender. I forgot to mention in my motor vlog that Goldwing case did not sponsor this video, but they did send me a trunk extension to test and review. I received this a few days ago and I opened up the box yesterday and thought, you know, I'll just go ahead and install this thing and give it a try. And uh, just so you know a little bit about the product, it's designed to uh, fit underneath your uh, trunk liner. It basically uh, attaches with just four screws that are currently being used for your trunk liner. And uh, it's designed to add an extra inch or two inches to your height of your trunk lid. Now they sent me the XL model which uh, appears at first glance almost like they've taken two of the standard extenders and kind of glued them together or somehow put them together. Close my face mask, it's very windy this morning. So it appears that they've taken two of these and combined them to make a taller one. And that's the XL model. Now the one they sent me is custom painted to match my white Goldwing. And uh, the paint is a pretty good match, actually. I don't really have a problem with the color match on the paint. But when I observe the, uh, the product itself, I did notice a few things that I thought were kind of interesting. There, uh, some of the pieces don't line up perfectly. And now it, it seems to fit okay, everything seemed to work okay. But when you look at it before it's put on the bike, it just doesn't look like some of the seams don't quite line up correctly. So I don't know if that's an engineering issue or a manufacturing issue. Uh, just something I observed. Now the way you install this is you basically remove the four screws from the corners of your trunk lid. The liner, I should say. And you also remove the rubber gasket or piece of rubber uh, water, you know, the weatherproof rubber seal that's on your trunk lid. And you have to do that carefully. And even if you're careful, because I was very careful, but even if you're careful, some of that adhesive backing is probably going to come off. And so it's very difficult to get that rubber seal off without damaging you might say some of the adhesive and that rubber seal actually fits in a groove inside your trunk lid and there is a corresponding groove on this uh, trunk extender that you then put that rubber seal in you kind of put that in its place and then you mount this to the underside of your trunk liner using those four screws and in essence you have now kind of extended your trunk now it extends more at the back than it does at the front so does it work 
Well, the XL model that I have actually comes with a, it comes with its own um, trunk latch hooks. You don't, you don't use the ones that come off your bike. You, it comes with its own mounted hooks. And yes, it does work. It's very difficult on my bike for me to close my trunk and get it to latch. I have to really push down pretty firmly to get it to latch. But it does close. And I can, in fact, put my helmet in my trunk now standing up without laying it down on its side. Whereas before, I could not do that. So it does appear to give extra space inside the trunk, as you would expect. What about the appearance? Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the bike, and I'll let you decide. Once it's mounted and installed, you can still see the black trunk liner, and that's very noticeable on a white Goldwing. If you had a dark red or dark blue Goldwing, or even a black Goldwing, probably would not be as noticeable. So I think it's probably a better, uh, from an appearance standpoint, a better solution for a darker motorcycle. In fact, if you had a black gold ring, you could probably get away with just using their standard flat black uh, model, not even have it custom painted. I doubt that you'd even notice it. But it is pretty obvious when you look at it that it's there. I mean, it's noticeable. And on my bike, I never could get it to latch completely enough to where I'm still getting my trunk open light on the dash. Even though it is closed and latched, it's not latched securely enough to make my little open trunk light go off. The other thing that you'll notice is because it elevates the rear of the trunk more so than it does the front of the trunk, your passenger backrest is now at a slight angle. It kind of angles everything forward just a little bit. So you're no, it's no longer straight up and down or leaning back. It's kind of at a more forward angle. So if you ride with a passenger, that might be a consideration for them because uh, it's going to put them at a different seating angle because of the way that thing sits on the motorcycle. So what's my view of this? Well, I think it just depends on the individual. If you need that additional space on your trunk, um, it certainly works. It certainly does add that space. I don't know if I could live with the fact that my trunk open light is on all the time then you have to decide on the cost. The cost of the unit, I think they kind of run from $279 all the way up to $459. If you get the XL model, like they sent me, uh, custom painted to match your bike, uh, you're looking at, uh, you're going to be looking at about $450 plus shipping. And these come from France, so I'm assuming the shipping is not cheap. But, um, if any of you out there have one of these uh, Goldwing case extenders, uh, please uh, put it in the comments down below and let me know what your experience has been. Uh, maybe I didn't get the right fit on mine, um, but there's also something else interesting I noticed when I looked at this. There's like a wood screw at the back of the unit. Now, I don't know what that's for. It looks to me like it just goes through the plastic. But they've put like a wood screw all the way through the plastic. I don't know. I, it just, it looks strange. So the engineering of this uh, extender uh, looks to me like it's a little bit, leaves a little bit to be desired. But it does do what they say it'll do. It does extend the height of the trunk. It does give you a little bit more space in your trunk if you're having trouble fitting helmets and things like that. Um, but at $459 plus shipping, I think it's just going to be up to the individual as to whether or not it's worth it for you. Again, if any of you have this product, please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Um, I'll be anxious to know. So that's my review of the Goldwing Case Trunk Extender. And uh, 
Thanks for joining me today on Cruise Man's Moto Vlog. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.